Hello everyone, welcome back to my complete and updated Hu Tao guide. In this video, I'm going over everything you need to know about Hu Tao and making sure that this is the only guide that you need to watch if you want to build a Hu Tao. Let's get started, shall we? Hu Tao is an on-field, single-target, pyro hyper carry that excels in crushing her enemies and sending them to the afterlife. Normal attack, she does a 6 hit consecutive strike with the pole arm that she wields to deal physical damage. Elemental skill, on cast she will enter a paramita papilio state, okay, which converts her HP, a set amount of HP that is 30% of her current HP into bonus attack and she also gains pyro infusion along with resistance to interruption. This pyro infusion cannot be overwritten. So you mainly want to do her charge attack because the multipliers on her charge attack are quite high and any enemy that you do a charge attack on is affected some by something called a blood blossom. Any enemy affected by a blood blossom will constantly take pyro damage every four seconds. Then the pyro damage that they will take is considered as skill damage. Like I said, after pressing her elemental skill, she will enter a state called Paramita Papilio state, which is the infusion state. But if she leaves the field, the state will end and she will no longer have the infusion. Elemental Burst. On cast, it will deal a instance of pyro AoE pyro damage. It has a 60 cost, so ER problems is something that she won't suffer from. Her burst is a quite a simple thing, okay? And when you do her elemental burst, she will gain HP, okay? She will gain a set amount of HP. And if Hu Tao's HP falls below 50%, and when the enemy is hit with the elemental burst, both the damage and the HP regeneration that the burst provides you with is increased. Ascension 1 passive. The entire party except Hu Tao will gain a 12% crit rate when Hu Tao's uh, PP state ends. Ascension 4 passive. When Hu Tao's HP is less than or equal to 50%, she will gain 33% pyro damage bonus. So keeping her at below 50% HP is a good idea if you want to use the pyro damage bonus from her passives. As for the talent priority, you want to level up your normal attack, then your elemental skill, both of them having equal importance, and then you want to level up your elemental burst. Constellation. Although Hu Tao at C0 can be a very good character, getting her Constellation 1 is a good improvement to her play kit. Constellation 1, a very valuable constellation for her. When in her elemental skill state, her charge attacks won't consume any stamina. Like I said, you mainly want to do charge attacks with her. so. This constellation would like uh, won't allow a uh, stamina to be consumed when you do her charge attack. Constellation two, it will increase the damage of her blood blossoms and apply the blood blossoms through her elemental burst as well. Before uh, the blood blossoms were only applied with the uh, charge attack from her elemental skill, but now if you get constellation two, it will apply through the burst as well. Constellation 3 will be a plus 3 levels for your elemental skill. Constellation 4. When an enemy who is marked with blood blossom is defeated, she will give the entire party, excluding herself, a 12% crit rate for 15 seconds. This is like a support kind of thing. Constellation 5. This will give you a plus 3 levels for your elemental burst. Constellation 6. When her HP is below 50%, or when Hu Tao takes a lethal hit, she will gain 100% crit rate and this allows you to build tons of crit damage on her because she will gain 
hundred percent, a hundred percent crit rate. Along with the crit rate, she will also gain all elemental and physical resistance up to 200%. This effect can be triggered once every 60 seconds. When Hu Tao is left at 1 HP, this effect will automatically trigger if you have the constellation. Artifacts. Well, to build Hu Tao, there are like she's quite easy to build and there aren't that many options that you can run on Huta. Let's talk about the main stats first. For the timepiece, you can run a HP percent or elemental mastery. Elemental mastery will give you more reaction damage, but HP will give you more survival uh, chances, more attack buff. And just try to get elemental mastery through the substats on any of the pieces. Okay, that is a good option. The goblet will be pyro damage and the circlet will be crit. Substat. You mainly want to prioritize crit rate over elemental mastery over HP percent and then attack. Is there any threshold that you must reach? You want to aim for 200 to 300 elemental mastery if your Hu Tao is a reaction based Hu Tao. If you want to build a Hu Tao that's, that deals damage from reactions, a 200 to 300 elemental mastery is a good option. As for the energy recharge, well, you're not going to use her elemental burst that often, so she doesn't need that much energy recharge. If you have any energy recharge stats, that is a good thing, but don't go for any energy recharge uh, pieces. For the artifact sets, there are two options, only two options that you can run on her. One be being the four piece Crimson Witch of Flames, the other being Shimanawa. Crimson Witch of Flames will give you more reaction damage and Shimanawa will give you normal attack and charge attack buff at the cost of some energy. Both of them are quite good and the difference between them is almost negligible. There is another set that you can run but it's quite niche. That is the 4-piece gilded. It will give you the element mastery and attack through the 4-piece sets. Uh, I'm gonna mention this point here only. 4-piece uh, archaic Petra. If you have any characters that are Geo in her party comp, try running 4-piece archaic Petra. The 4-piece set the elemental damage bonus that the Archaic Petra will provide you with is good for Hu Tao. If you don't have any of the four piece sets that I mentioned, that is the Crimson Witch of Flames, Shimanava, maybe Gilded as well, you can go for two piece sets. Two piece Crimson Witch of Flames can be paired with two piece Tennessee of the Millilith or two piece sets that will give you elemental mastery. Weapons. She has a good 3 star, 4 star, 5 star options that are quite free to play friendly and also whale friendly. For the 3 star weapon choices, you can run a white tassel. It will provide you with the crit rate and the normal attack damage bonus. Although it has a low base attack, you can run white tassel as well. It is also free to play friendly. For the 4 star weapon choices, if you have played the events before and got the Mississippi Wind Spear, it will provide you with the raw attack, elemental mastery from the passive, and it is quite free to play friendly. And for a reaction Hutao, a Hutao that will deal rea uh, damage through reactions, Dragon's Bane is a good option. In the build section, I said 200 to 300 elemental mastery is good. If you run a Dragon's Bane, you can easily achieve the 200 threshold for Vaporizes. If you are a Battle Pass player and have the Deathmatch lying around, you can use that as well. It will give you crit rate and attack from its passive. Lithic Spear, that's a good option if you have any party members that are from Leeway. It will provide you with the raw attack and the crit rate from its passive. Now, if you don't have any of the options that I mentioned, and if you have a little bit, little bit of star glitter, you can buy the Black Cliff Polearm. It will provide you with the crit damage, although passive would be useless against bosses, 
that is a good option to run as well. For the 5 star choices, her best in slot will be the Staff of Homa. It is tailored made for her and well, it's her weapon so it's of course her best in slot. If you have the Staff of Scarlet Suns, you can run that as well. It gives you the high crit rate, bonus attack from Elemental Mastery. As you're building a little bit of Elemental Mastery on Hu Tao, she can make use of that passive as well. The last option that I'm going to mention is the Primordial Jade Winged Spear. It is like a usable kind of uh, weapon because it provides you with the crit rate and the it has a good passive. The other thing that I'm going to talk about here is how to play Hu Tao, okay? I don't own Hu Tao, so I'm going to do it in the trial section. You mainly want to use her charge attacks, like I said before, as it has no ICDs, okay? That means if it has no ICDs, you can vaporize each and every hit, unlike her normal attack. Her normal attack has the uh, normal ICDs, while her charge attacks don't. As for the rotations where you want to run Hu Tao, you mainly want to go for N1C or N2C. N1C will be like this and N2C would be that. Now, if you have a C0 Hu Tao, stamina problems are something that you will come across a lot. But uh, if you want to work around those stamina problems, you mainly want to use N2C with a jump cancel, okay? N2C with a jump cancel. I'll talk about a jump cancel in a moment, okay? And if you have a C1 Hu Tao, you mainly want to do N2C dash cancel. I'll mention dash cancel as well. Now, if you charge attack, she will pass through enemies, okay? She will pass through enemies and sometimes position herself in an awkward situation where she is quite far from the enemy. Okay, so her elemental skill into her charge attack and sometimes the enemy would be way over there and she would be here and making her uh, a little bit hard to attack. So you want to do something like a jump cancel or a dash cancel. A jump cancel is pr uh, done by jumping right after her charge attack hits the enemy. Although sometimes uh, it might make you vulnerable to enemies as you are like in the mid air. The other thing that I'm going to mention would, was the dash cancel, right? So elemental skill into charge attack and dash cancel. Dash cancel is done by dashing right after her charge attack hits the enemy. It will help you position yourself at the cost of valuable stamina. So that was the demonstration. Okay, since there is like a cooldown for dash. Okay, so you can just tap two times and then you can't tap three times for dashes. You mainly want to follow this rotation two times N1C or N2C into a dash cancel. Then after performing both of them, go into a N1C or N2C jump cancel. Okay, that is one of the rotations where you can play Hu Tao. Now, talking about team comps, Hu Tao is a character that needs help from other characters to deal a lot of damage, okay? These other characters would include support buffers like Mona, elemental applicators like Xing Chou, Yelan, off-field damage dealers like Shangling, Fischl, and shielders like Zhongli and Diona. One of the best comps where Hu Tao can be placed in would be a Hu Tao Hyper Carry. Hu Tao is paired with Xing Chou, along with Yelan and then a Zhongli. If you don't want a Zhongli, you can sometimes pair a animal support. But going for Zhongli would be the best option because of the shred from, her, uh, from his elemental skill and the shielding that he can provide you with. If you don't have Yelan, you can uh, replace Yelan with a Bennett as well. 
Bennett would give you the huge attack from the noblesse and his uh, kit. If you don't want to run Bennett, you can uh, run a Mona as well, okay? Mona is like the support buffer, correct? So you can run Mona as well. The other teams that uh, don't perform that well as Huta Hyper Carry but are good are the Vaporize Melt Comp. Hu Tao is paired with Xing Zhou along with two cryo characters. Those cryo characters can be Rosaria, Kaya, uh, Layla. Another comp, okay, another comp that you can run Hu Tao is a over vape comp. Over vape comp would be like something like this, okay. Hu Tao, Xing Zhou, Electro, and a Flex character. The Electro character can be an off field character like Lisa. Uh, Fischl, Miko, stuff like that, okay? And the flex character can be uh, an animal character, a grouping CC kind of character like Venti, or maybe a shielder character like Diona or Zhongli. Before Yilan was introduced, there was a team comps for uh, Hu Tao, which was like something like this. Hu Tao, uh, Xing Chou, and Double Geo. The double geo would mainly include Albedo and Zhongli. Albedo will give you the off-field damage and Zhongli would be for shielding. And with that, you can proc the geo resonance as well. Another comp where uh, Hu Tao can shine is the Monopyro comp. Although it, you might not get a lot of uh, reaction damage, this is another comp you can run. Hu Tao is paired with Shangling and Bennett, and the last slot being a Flex Animo character. There are other comps as well that I'm not gonna mention, which are mostly very niche or won't give you that much damage out of Hu Tao. The best comp that I mentioned was the first one, the Hu Tao Hyper Carry comp. Okay, run that, and your Hu Tao will be the strongest character in your entire account. That's all for this video. If you enjoyed and liked this guide, leave a comment down below. Liking to the uh, video and subscribing to the channel is greatly appreciated. As I'm trying to hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of this year, each and every subscriber will count. That's all for this video. I will see you all in the next one. And I also released the year guide as well. So link in the description if you want to go check that out as well. That's all for this video. I will see you all in the next one. Bye bye.